welcome back. It's been a little while here. Quite a few months actually since I posted anything on my channel. Um, it wasn't really my intention to take such a long break. I actually have several videos of Milo and his updates um, that I have filmed months ago that I will eventually get up there. But I wanted to let everyone know, uh, if you don't follow me on social media, either Instagram or um, Snapchat, then you won't know, but I am pregnant. So that is a little bit of the reason why um, I haven't been on for so long. I, it already had been a while and then I got pregnant and I've just been so sick that I just haven't even had the time um, to think about doing a video. So, exciting. Um, just a little backstory if anyone's new here. Uh, this is my second pregnancy. Um, it took my husband and I a really long time to get pregnant the first time around. We ended up having to do fertility treatment and an IUI twice um, before getting pregnant. And it was quite the journey. It took a really long time. And um, this time around, we figured we probably would have to do the same thing, which is IUI, which is um, interuterine insemination. Uh, they just take a sample of sperm from your partner and they put it in the catheter and um, inject it through the cervix so that it's right there next to the egg, very easily fertilized. Um, just kind of gives them a little help to get things moving along but it's not like IVF where they actually have to remove the eggs, fertilize them, and then put them back in. It's still natural conception that is happening. So that's what we did the first time around. Um, we went to the fertility clinic in February. Um, I don't know, I think it was like February 7th or something. It was actually a different fertility clinic this time. And I just was talking to the doctor about obviously just past history and everything and it was just kind of like a preemptive appointment just to establish care we weren't ready to start trying yet we weren't ready to like do IUI right then we were thinking maybe late spring early summer kind of around there maybe between like April and July ish um, to get started on all this, but I wanted to establish care and I, you know, I just wanted to see how things work there. Well, he said, well, it doesn't seem like you're in a hurry to get pregnant, so why don't we just try Femera, which is a very mild fertility drug. It's similar to Clomid in the fact that it um, kind of helps you ovulate a better egg. Even though I ovulate every month, it just kind of makes it more ripe, easier to fertilize, um, which I did take Femera um, when I got pregnant with, with my son Milo, um, I took that along with doing the IUI and that's how we got Milo. So he said, let's try three months of Femera, um, and just see what happens. So it's a pill that you take for five days. It's like on cycle days, three through seven. Um, super easy. I was like, sure, why not? I'll try it. Um, it was covered by insurance. So it was free, which the IUI is not covered by insurance. So I was like, I might as well try it. Um, I really don't think anything's gonna happen, like, you know. But just, you know, for the sake of trying it and for the sake of pleasing the doctor, I said I would. So I actually started my next cycle a week later on February 14th, Valentine's Day, yay. <laughs> and so three days later, I started that medication and he told me to do OPKs, just kind of track my ovulation and to see if I get a positive ovulation. And I started tracking them on cycle day 10, even though I know I usually ovulate later in the month. Um, sometimes with Femera, it can, have you, it can help you ovulate earlier in the month. And I did that till cycle day 17 and I didn't get a positive ovulation. Um, it was, the line was getting darker, but it still wasn't as dark or darker than the control line, which is what it needs to be um, for the type of ovulation test I took. It wasn't digital, it was just the one that had the dark control line and then the test line is supposed to get as dark or darker than the control line and that means you're gonna ovulate. And it got a little, it got um, a little darker, but it didn't, like, like every day it got a little darker, but it didn't get, um, it never got darker than the control line. 
and I ran out of tests. I think I only had like seven of them or something, and I decided, oh well, I'm not gonna buy another pack. Either I'm gonna ovulate in the next few days, or I'm not gonna ovulate at all, or maybe I did ovulate and it just wasn't very strong. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get pregnant anyways. We'll just keep having our time to intercourse accordingly and see what happens. So that, um, but then the next day on cycle day 18, I actually felt like some cramping and a little bit of pain, um, mild pain, but I'm pretty sure I ovulated on um, cycle day 18. I'm not sure what I'm pretty, but I think I did. So about a week went by and all of a sudden I felt a little nauseous. And I was like, that's weird. I was like, first of all, it's way too early to have pregnancy symptoms. It's like a week after conception at most. Um, but it felt very, very familiar. With, with Milo, I got sick really soon and really bad. And this felt very similar. And it wasn't, it wasn't like full-blown nausea. I'd say it was more just like queasy. I felt kind of queasy. And I thought, first I thought I must have just ate something wrong. And as the days went on, I got a little more queasy. And I actually... On cycle day, let's see, seven, eight, nine, nine, cycle day nine or 10, I took a pregnancy test because I was like, what's going on here? And it was negative, which I figured it would be because A, it was probably too early to test and B, I'm not pregnant, I'm just crazy. Um, and then about, let's see, one, two, three days later, I decided to take another test. And I hadn't told my husband um, about taking these tests. I did tell him I was feeling a little nauseous and he's like, oh, whatever, you always think you're pregnant. I'm like, no, um, this is the first time I've thought I was pregnant since having Milo. Like when I was trying to get pregnant with Milo, every month I was hopeful and I was like, I think I'm pregnant. Um, but now that I know what pregnancy feels like, I was like, yes, I think I really am pregnant. Um, and as much as I thought I was pregnant because of how I was feeling, at the same time, I didn't think I was pregnant because that was just would be way too easy and way too fast and way too unexpected. Um, so three days later, I tested again and I'm sitting on the toilet and I put the little test on the bathtub a ledge and it just it's been maybe about thirty seconds and I kind of glanced over and I thought I saw a slight slight line and so I didn't look again. Got off the toilet, um, washed my hands, walked around, waited three minutes and went back to the test. And the test that I took, I can't remember the brand, but it was the one that needs the plus sign for a positive. So there's the line that goes this way, which is the control line, and then the line that goes up and down, If um, that's the test line. So if there's a line down, that means you're pregnant. And sure enough, I look at this test, and there's this faint line. And I was like, what the, what the heck? Like is this real life right now? Like, I just, I couldn't even believe it. Um, leading up to having Milo was years in the making and then all of a sudden, two weeks after going to the fertility doctor, I'm pregnant? Like, this is like not real life. Uh, at least not my real life. It's not my experience. It's not what I'm used to. And so I was, I was like equally shocked and freaking out and just like a kind of disbelief. Like. It was a different feeling than when I found out with Milo because with Milo it was this um, building of emotions for so long and when I found out it was just like this explosion of emotion and um, with this one it was more just like just kind of like I didn't even have like a thought or I mean I had lots of feelings and thoughts but it, it was just more like really it was uh, a little less dramatic um, you know, my heart was racing. I was still freaking out that, I mean, I was like on one hand, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got pregnant so easily. Milo's going to have a brother or sister. They're just going to be barely two years apart. Um, I'm so grateful that I could actually get pregnant again. We didn't have to do IUI. Oh, I'm so thankful. And that's when I'm like, holy crap, I wasn't ready to get pregnant yet. I don't feel phys physically ready or mentally ready. I don't have a doctor I don't you know all these things going through my head all the practical things and I'm just like it's kind of like this war like whoa and I was a little nervous to tell my husband um, because again this is February end of February that we find out we're pregnant 
um, we weren't thinking about getting pregnant for at least three to six months. Um, so it was just a little early and obviously it's not that much sooner, but three to six months, a lot can happen and just to mentally prepare yourself, to take that time to mentally prepare yourself. Um, and my husband probably needed that time a little bit more than I did. I was more freaking out about just physically being pregnant again and he was freaking out about everything, you know, just how are we going to fit another kid into the house we live in because we're already like at capacity. Um, how are we going to, you know, just at all the logistical things of like another child and what that means for our family. Um, but obviously, and I would say that he had, he had a good week of kind of freaking out about everything. Um, and I kind of held it together and finally as he came around to everything and calmed down, then I kind of freaked out. Um, because again, if you're new to this journey, um, my labor and delivery and postpartum with Milo was very difficult. I ended up getting preeclampsia at 39 weeks, had to be induced, had a terribly long labor, um, and Milo came out not breathing, the cord wrapped around his neck, he needed to be intubated, rushed to the NICU where he spent several, several days. Um, I was discharged two days later only to be readmitted with a blood clot in my lung and um, blood levels that continued to drop from hemorrhaging really bad. I needed a blood transfusion and my preeclampsia was coming back and I had to be put on medication for that. And so it was just a whirlwind of things. So postpartum healing was hard and it took a long time. I had to be on blood thinners for four months. And um, when we talked about having another child, we kind of debated whether we even wanted to do that again. Um, and we met with some specialists to see what that would look like with all these complications and going into another pregnancy. We decided that, you know, even though there would be some precautions we had to take, that was something we did want to do again. Uh, but it meant being on blood thinners. So when I got pregnant again, I'd have to start blood thinners. So, you know, when I did get pregnant, I um, didn't have a doctor and it was just kind of, it, it took a, f a few days to get the blood thinners and I was just really nervous and overwhelmed with everything. And um, everything's kind of calmed down now. I got everything situa situated with my doctor and my medication. Um, and... I'm pregnant. I'm actually 15 weeks pregnant today and I'm going to go back and do just a first trimester overview and then I'll probably do weekly or every other weekly updates. Um, but so far the pregnancies have been pretty identical in the fact that I've been severely nauseous, a lot of vomiting, just feeling like crap. I'm kind of coming out of it a little bit. Um, for sure I'm coming out of it actually quite a bit. But I still have days where I just, ugh, it's hard. To do life and it's busy with a toddler I have a, I have a one and a half year old and then I have four stepchildren who are here a lot of the time and my husband is um, travels for work a lot so it's me and five kids sometimes and pregnant and that's a lot um, so definitely being pregnant this time has had different challenges in the first time um, and I'm excited to get into those there's also been a couple of scares um, an ultrasound scare, an ER visit, a blood clot scare, and I will definitely get into that in my next video. But for now, I wanted to announce to the YouTube world, to anyone who's still even watching my channel after this long break, that I'm pregnant for the second time. Um, and I got pregnant the first try, and it's just still just crazy. So again, thank you though for those who have followed me along this entire time and as we embark onto this next journey of another baby. So I'm excited to share with you and just document it for myself. Um, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. <music>